And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're having some technical difficulties. We do have the video coming to you guys, it's ready to go. But I'm going to do the intro out of here because I'm having an issue doing it with the Madden screen and everything. But besides the point, guys, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back today. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content lately, guys. We do have a power-up expansion coming today to Madden Ultimate Team. Now, the thing with this expansion is that I know it's not the craziest update. It's, it could be lackluster, but we are getting about 696, well, 698 overall players. Now, not actual players, but players that can be powered up to 98 without actually having to get the car, which is pretty cool. And guys, what they pretty much hinted at was that this is just the first power-up expansion. There will be more, and these will include regular cards in game. So these are just cards that didn't have cards. Like, you know, like Navarro Bowman and stuff. But now, imagine this. Like I said yesterday, Le'Veon Bell's last card, only like a 96, 97, let's say. You you wanted Le'Veon Bell's a 99 in your team, but he's not in-game, so you can't use him. Well, power-up expansion, Le'Veon Bell. Now his power-up goes to 99, which I think is super cool for people like, let's say, Daniel Jones. Last card was 95, power-up expansion, now he can get to 99. So a lot of players that, like, would never have gotten more cards this year, now get new cards. And the beauty of that is that now a lot of cards are going to be usable in game that typically wouldn't have been. So I kind of do like the way this is going, guys. But before we get into today's video and check out all the pictures and everything, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family as always. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and comment down below, like I always say. If you guys have any questions regarding the power up expansion, and smash the like button, guys. Now let's head over to the pictures. Let's get into it. Guys, okay, so one of the first cards we have is Sean Phillips. What does a linebacker for the Los Angeles Chargers or back then the San Diego Chargers? Six foot three, 87 speed, 92 excel, 82 strength, 95 tackle, 97 play rec, 89 block shed, 90 power move, 97 fast move. Now, if you guys are wondering what was going wrong, by the way, my Elgato is just not registering my Xbox right now. So the Xbox screen just is not working. I can't play Xbox. I can't record Xbox. I don't really know what's happening right now. But I, I did it this way. Had Zerk send me all the pictures of everything first so we can have all the... We went over everything first to go over this. And I'm going to have to do it this way for just today. Hopefully, it's all fixed by tomorrow. But back to Sean Phillips. Pretty good looking outside linebacker with John Madden and Sprinter. You will get 90 speed on him. He'll be a very, very solid pass rusher. A great run stuffer. Great play rec. Great speed. Now, while I use this card, probably not with the way my scheme is right about now. This isn't really the route I'd probably take. But still still super solid in my opinion this card's really great it's a card that i might want jason elam 97 kick power 95 kick accuracy that's a really good kick power depending on this, the price of training and how much it costs to get his original card this would be a, this could be a pretty cheap way to get a high kick power unless of course new football outsider cards that came out of well not new but the newest ones before or any of um or if zang and also any of them are cheaper than the training's worth because they also have a high kick power so i have to obviously check but he's 80 XL, 75 speed, which is pretty pretty fast for a kicker. But that kick power and accuracy is super solid. Again, if, if training's cheap enough, a really, really good kicking option to just go ahead and get for a cheap price. And remember, these are like guys, again, that just never got upgrades, so they just let you upgrade them. This is like what I'm talking about, how it would work out with guys like Zeke Elliott, or guys, let's say, with Le'Veon Bell. Or even, I mean, they can't do Saquon because he got a 97, but maybe they even could, like, a 98 expansion so you can get him to a 98, and then he could be powered up to 99, you know what I'm saying? Like, because his power up's already 98. Or maybe they start getting us get 99s, which would be super cool. Let's get to the next card. Cordell Stewart. Now, this one's pretty interesting because this guy is one of the out of position cards we got earlier in the year. When I believe we got Cordell Stewart at halfback. Now, Cordell Stewart is a pretty cool card. 94 speed. So, with John Madden and with Sprinters, you don't have a 97 speed. So, that's super fast. He's end up with 99 throw power, 97 speed. Pretty decent quarterback right there. 94 throw short's great. 86 throw made is kind of bad. 91 throw deep is kind of bad. 90 throw under pressure kind of bad. 97 throw on the run and 95 play action. Now, pretty much, this kind of looks to me like Lamar Jackson, but slightly worse. Like, Lamar Jackson's um, NFL Honors card, or even his Blitz card look like this. Like, like, like his Blitz card. His Blitz card kind of looked like this, but he does have a lot more throw power. So, if you were rocking with a pretty ch uh, young, uh, pretty less overall Lamar Jackson. Cordell Stewart could be a pretty good replacement with him for a better throw power, if that's the case. But as a whole, the newer Lamar, of course, is better. But this is not this is not too bad. Not too bad for a little good uh, quarterback throw power speed option. Now, the only issue I said with him is going to be the price of training right now. Price training is usually super cheap, but you never know how things to go up on a day where a lot of players come out that people may want. So that's why we have to kind of wait, kind of see, and kind of see what's going on. 
Now guys, will there be solos for these guys? We suspect that there will be. There will be solos to come out that you can maybe get like a power-up or two or some free power-ups. Nothing's in game yet, so we don't know if it's official, but definitely check them throughout the day. See if solos pop up, because if they do end up popping up, then for the most part, it should guarantee you like a free, uh, free power-up or so. Because Navarro Bowman is going to be super good, super cool, but he's going to be hard to get. Right, right now, people are going to overprice him, so... Hopefully they drop some solos. It's yesterday, 96 speed, 98 jumping, 97 catching, 93 catching traffic, 95 spec catch, 94 short route running, 96 medium route running, and 92 deep route running. Now this card, really, really solid. With John Madden and everything, he's going to have 99 speed, going to have 99 catch, and going to have like 96 catch traffic, 97 or 98 spec catch, 99 medium route, and then like mid 90s deep route and short route running. Solid card overall. A really good card to have on any team. Well, I have him probably not because of the way I have my receivers already set. Not the, not the tallest, not the fastest. Like, it's going to get to 99, but as a base 98, he's just going to be super fast. He's going to be really fast when you cap him up. But that's if you have all the chems for him and all the uh, the sprinter set up for your team. But everything, he's like a he's like a Tory Holt. Very well-rounded, can catch, can route run, six feet tall. Bowman, which is my the one I'm probably most excited for. We've not had a Navarro Bowman for on my team, at least. I don't, think I've had, I don't think I've had a Navarro Bowman in so long in Madden on my team. Let's see this card, though. Six feet tall, decent height. 92 speed so it's sprinter and john madden 95 speed 93 excel so great speed strength's gonna be about an 88 probably 99 tackle 99 player because what he's gonna get with chems so that's solid 90 he's probably gonna get like a 96 97 block so that's amazing 94 hit power and then probably like an 82 83 zone depending on the cam i choose gonna be able to shut down the run force fumbles be a user user linebacker get tackles get player and with his zone he could even maybe leave him in zone I really like this Navarro Bowman. I think this could be my next linebacker. I'll end up picking up. It all depends on the price of his power, of course, and if my Xbox lets me get back on, because at the moment, this is just this is not working out. Hopefully, somehow, they, they let me back on. But we'll work on that after the video, of course. This Navarro Bowman looks super solid. I really do like this one, and quite honestly, I wish he was a little bit better in speed. Just like, I wish he had like a 93 speed. I know it's only plus one, but that 96 oh, speed will make a huge difference in trying to keep him over the middle with tight ends and wide receivers especially like with everything being 99 i think they gotta start upping the speed of linebackers because if you know what i'm saying in my personal opinion obviously you can just like you could be a little cheesy and just take big nickel and get some long, some safeties in there and you're gonna have to rock with linebackers but typically i run a pretty generic defense so i keep it kind of simple i don't really go into all that subbing and stuff so for me a slightly faster linebacker could go a long way finally of Corey schlesinger which is a guy that i'm actually pretty excited for because i do already have him so i try to power him up which wouldn't be too hard 84 speed 92 strength that's fine with John Madden and Sprinter have an 87 speed, which is doable for me. 96 awareness, 89 carrying. I don't, I'm not giving him the ball, so he doesn't have to worry about that. 78 catching is honestly pretty solid in case he does somehow run a route out of the backfield. Or I leave him out somewhere. Now run block, 95. Amazing. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put zone run on him. He's gonna get like a 98 run block. Lead block, I'm gonna get like a 98 lead block, and then impact block is gonna be a 99. He's gonna be the ultimate blocker at fullback for me. Obviously, I think I still rather Okoye, but if this is a lot cheaper because Okoye is like really expensive. You know, you got to do what you got to do. I mean, I don't mind taking a downgrade for Schlesinger when I already have him on my team. Had him all year. Used to him being slow as hell. And then in, in, in return, I don't spend all the coins on Koye. But again, it comes down to one simple thing. What is the price of training at that time? Because, of course, the price of training is going to dictate kind of if it's worth it or not. Like, of course, Schlesinger only cost me 150k worth of training to make. Good deal. If he cost me 300k to make and Okoye goes for like 350, eh, not so worth it anymore. But if I'm saving a decent amount of coin... I, if I could pick up him and Bowman, 298 overalls for 250, 300k, good deal. If I have to spend 300k per, and then I could have just bought regular players, 99 overalls, and at that point, it's like, eh, maybe I wait, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, not bad at all. Really a fan of Scorius Lessinger card, because that's what I wanted for block, and that's all I'm going to use him for. I don't use my fullback for anything else. Have a, If I had a Koi, would I do maybe a little bit more? Or Franco Harris? Possibly. But for the time being, I've been used to him all year. He's actually even scored a kick return for me with like a 78 speed, which was very, very weird. But... It is what it is. But guys, close out this video. Alright guys, so that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to below. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Sorry for the difference of video making today. The bigger screen here in my face, which you guys probably don't want to see as well as not having the Madden screen today. 
I think it's just a messed up my Elgato. I don't really know what's going on with it, but again, we're going to work on that. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below, and let's talk about the power-up expansions. And hopefully, in the future, we get some pretty good ones. Now, guys, don't forget to be checking the day today for solos, see if they do come out. I'm not sure if anything's confirmed yet, but if they do drop solos, it would be a pretty good alternative to get some pretty cheap power-up cards, because I think Navarro Bowman is probably going to go for like 100k. 50 200k off the rip people are not going to be selling anything for cheap it could be even going for more i'm giving you guys like a fair estimate but guys about it hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'm out peace